Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So in this quick tutorial, I just want to show you how I got this photo and a little story behind digital blending and how I do digital blending. So first of all, I just want to remind you that if you don't have Lightroom or Photoshop, you can still get 20% off Lightroom and Photoshop. So it's $7.99 per month, the price of two coffee. You have all of Lightroom, all of Photoshop. This offer is going to end very soon uh, by Adobe. They just warned me. Uh, you can get this by going to my gear page, sign up for my free account, and then you can get this offer. And so you can get $7.99 for Lightroom and Photoshop. So we're going to need Lightroom and Photoshop for this one. So I was doing a, a shoot with my future stepdaughter, Cyrielle. Uh, and um, I first I shot, uh, you know, the um, I found a poppy field in the south of France. I've always wanted to shot poppy fields, and I I try different looks. And I I first I started shooting it with my 85 1.4 from Sony, you know, to get like a very shallow depth of field, uh, very close or very wide. I think it gives like very interesting photos. I tried different white balance, and then Serial came as a model. I try. I'm doing a little series where, because she's a photographer, where I'm taking basically photos of photographers shooting in a nice landscape. So I first started off with the 85 1.4, and you know to get like a very shallow depth of field and being on her, and um, you know trying different pose, try different expressions, and uh, and then I had this idea of I wanted something where we can see more of the landscape. So uh, I'm showing you some of the photos that I liked. Some didn't work. I tried to do some HDR with it. So that's an HDR, which is kind of cool, but I don't like the glare here. You see, the problem is too much glare attracts too much attention. If you got a too, a too big of a glare, the problem is that that's the only thing you see. All right, so what I did is I bracketed. So this is the normal exposure. This is the underexposure, and this is the uh, normal exposure. Sorry, so over, under, and normal. So minus two, plus two, and zero. Because the sun was there. But you see now that the sun is lower, you don't get as much glare. So what I first did is I first retouched this photo. So this is my reference photo. Uh, I'm just looking of what I did onto it. All right. So basically I retouched this one. I open up a bit of shadows. Now, when I do portrait, I don't do, oh, go all the way to plus 100. So I did plus 100, minus 100, a bit of white, a bit of black, just to give you a bit of contrast. And uh, I went really warm on the white balance. You see, I have this as a reference. Yeah, like 11,000 plus 32. I like the white balance, so maybe not so much on the magenta and something like this. And I think I, I, my blacks were a little stronger. So basically, I'm retouching the you know the the overexposure for the foreground and for her because I want her to be properly laid. And then I'm going to take the minus exposure, and uh, actually let me copy. I'm going to copy what I did here so far uh, on the on the lower exposure. So I'm doing this, but I like the sky, but it's not too dark. I'm going to open up the shadows completely on the lower exposure. Boost. I'm really only looking at the sky here. The only thing I'm really interested is the sky. I might even, you know, do a little gradient here on the sky to get all the details. So lower the bit of exposure just there. So what I need is a sky and maybe, uh, yeah, lower the exposure a little bit. I want to get a good sky, a uh, very diffuse sky, so my just clarity. So I'm only looking at this photo and I'm only looking at this photo. So now when I've, I've got that, I've got this two photo. Well, that's my reference photo. I see that I uh, I actually was on my reference photo. I didn't boost the exposure that much. So I'm going to lower the exposure uh, to get a better sky. Something like this. And let's see what I did here on the white balance. Oh, I went crazy on the white balance. 32,000. Okay. So, you know, because I always try to retouch this. And then on, 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 the, on the tint, I went plus 65. So very warm. But I'm only retouching this photo for the sky. I'm just trying to get a certain type of sky. Okay, now that looks kind of similar. It's a little too much. Uh, let's see here. What else did I do on this one? Oh, yeah, I just opened up the shadows big time, uh, which I did here. But I didn't bring the highlights. So I'm bringing back the highlights, the whites, and maybe the blacks. I'm going to bring back this and this. So all I did was open up the shadows and um, basically did a very warm and very... A magenta look. So that's the sky and that's the bottom. So I'm going to take both of this photo. I'm going to right click, edit and open as layers in Photoshop. So here I am in Photoshop. I'm going to take the 
the one that's underexposed, I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to hold down the Option key and click here on the mask icon. You see that, that good mask icon? Hold on the Alt key and click on it, boom. That's going to create a black mask. So now all I have to do is take a brush, a big brush. And uh, so I got a brush. I'm going to put it at 100% with white as a foreground color, I'm going to start brushing. So I'm going to bring back the underexposed guy. Usually I do it all the way, uh, but it does something weird. Oh, one, I forgot one big step. Okay, and if I forget it, you will forget it again. So let me delete that layer with a right click. Uh, I forgot to align both images. That's very important because I was shooting by hand, I think. And so I'm going to go here to edit. Auto align layers. If you don't auto align layer first, when you blend uh, with the exposure, you're going to get some nice surprises. And that's what I, I saw when I did this. So, okay, now they're aligned. So I'm going to go back here, option click, boom, brush back the sky back in. All right. But now, uh, now that I've brushed it back in, I'm going to press X, put black as a foreground. I'm going to go at 30% about. And I'm going to bring back some of the original sky, so it, especially around her, so she's probably led. Uh, even if it makes a gradient, okay, that's a little too much, because I was at 56. So I'm going to redo it at 30%, because that's what I said I was going to do, or 27. Okay, that's better. It's more natural. And I'm just blending both exposure. And uh, maybe, you know, make it brighter here around the sky. And now I'm going to close this. And that's going to bring it back into uh, Lightroom, and I'm going to do a final development back in Lightroom. So here I am, and I'm not going to do much, but maybe just add a bit of contrast. I'm going to take a gradient filter, uh, go to exposure, lower the exposure so that you know we have an even more interesting fitting there. I'm going to take my crop tool because I aligned the photo. I have a little bit of of uh, you know w white pixel on top and you see how she's perfectly almost on the on the on the rule of third here her face is exactly on the one of the golden triangle so it's a good composition and voila a little digital blending playing around uh, you know with Lightroom and Photoshop by the way mesdames and messieurs uh, my movie The Hollywood Wounds is released it's out since yesterday you can purchase it and you can view it uh, in 77 different stores uh, I hope you like the movie as much as I did doing it it's a little cool comedy about reaching your dreams and if you didn't check it out please do check it out I completely redid my Photoshop photographer course with over 21 projects and the idea um, was to do like short videos so you can you know if you just want to learn how to remove elements and how to do digital blending on how to replace skies who are you know blue sky white sky night sky how to change the milky way uh you know how to add the milky way to a landscape how to do uh you know day to night photography uh also skin retouching with bad skin like my skin or models fashion shoot uh high key landscapes a lot a lot of projects so 61 videos and you can just you know jump all the videos are like from five to eight minutes so it's I made it in a way so that it's you can just jump in and learn just what you need if you bought Photoshop or Photographer uh, my old version this course has nothing to do with it it's completely revamped a lot more project and a lot more information it's my most thorough and I think fun course that I ever did Mesdames et Messieurs I will see you tomorrow